Uh, Thierry, from Monaco, Juve, uh, Arsenal, Barcelona, how did the path directly lead to New York Red Bulls? Well, I, I'm actually uh, getting on the path sometimes to, <laughs> to go to the games. Uh, no, no, to be more serious, uh, I just don't, it's something that I, didn't about, that I had sorry, in the back of my mind for a little while, uh, talking also to some guys that are still playing in the league or, or were playing in the league, you know, um, always have been something that I, that I had, you know, um, in my mind to come here and play in the MLS and, and always the, the, the choice was always going to be in New York because it's, it's, it is a town that I love and I always thought that one day if I can like defend, you know, the color the call of, uh, of the town, uh, uh, that would have been uh, amazing for me and, uh, and here I am now. In America, obviously, we know the effect that David Beckham's had uh, on jerseys, fans, television contracts. But as a player in Europe, what's been kind of the consensus of what he's done in Major League Soccer and kind of the doors he opened? You know what, not, not only him. You know, when I, I go back to the to the Joker, to the Mateos, to the, all the guys that came in the league, you know, I, I mean, obviously, Bex uh, is, is a great figure. Everybody, you know, knows him and, and everything. But, but but not only him, you know, I, I know sometimes, you know, when I was in, still in Europe and, and people were talking about him, sometimes in the wrong way, sometimes in the right way. I just think it was a bit unfair sometimes, especially when it was in the wrong way, because the guy is a great guy. and. And you know you, you can't always like uh, uh, comment what he what he does. He does whatever he wants. But I, I just thought at the time, um, you know, for us players over there, you know, he, he came to play to play here, and uh, he's an honest and, uh, and great player. And he was always trying to do his best on the field. And you know, people were always trying to see or comment what he was doing. One thing I can tell you about Europe and the players is. A lot of players, I think, now are thinking uh, of coming in the MLS, and and thanks to to Bex, thanks to the Mateus, the Jokaev, and all the guys, the Skeloto, and all the guys that that came before, you know, to bring players from South America, Europe, or or wherever. What kind of role do you take on, especially with the young American players, as far as experience and what you can kind of bring to the table day in and day out? I, I like to see it as a like together thing. That I, I'm not trying to take. You know anything off my shoulder, uh, but it is a together thing. You know, every time, obviously, people are talking about me, Rafa, uh, talking about Juan, talking about the boss, talking about uh, Skeloto, Bex, or or whoever. You know, we, we we can go through the league like that. But uh, as I said so many times, you know, we have some great American players in our team. I think Tim Rim, for example, in our team is a great player. And he doesn't come from Europe, or he doesn't come from South America. I just think that it has to be a together thing, you know. Uh, play well, whether you're from Europe, South America, America, wherever you're, you're from. I think we all have um, that goal, if I can say, you know, to try to develop the game here. Uh, obviously, I know sometimes the focus is going to be on, on the so-called DPS player. Um, but that's, that's not, you know, how, how I see it. For you personally, obviously it was a long season last year, you go into the World Cup, coming out the other sh short time to gain your fitness. How, how truly difficult is that for that short preparation and then getting to the level where you feel you what need I, to be? I, I, oh, I can't even call it a preparation. I did not have a preparation. It's like to any athlete, oh, okay, let's, let's, let's talk about American football or any other football, or any other game, sorry, in this country. It's like if I tell you a guy playing for the Giants uh, coming off holiday and, and go straight and play the season. Mm. That would not work. You have to prepare the season. You have to go to camp. You have to make sure you're ready to, to, to prepare to, to go into the season. And, and that's the thing, you know, coming out of a long season, uh, even though I didn't play too much, but when you have some holiday and your, and your body does stop, you need at least, I would say, two, three weeks of training mo uh, morning, afternoon, morning, afternoon, morning, afternoon, morning, afternoon, morning, afternoon, and then eventually start to play some friendly games and then come into the season. And, and still sometime earlier, early doors, sorry, in the season, you're still not ready. Usually you eat your form after you've done what I've said. Yeah. Around in, in Europe, for example, we start, uh, you start a season in beginning of August, so you have the whole of July to prepare your season. Mm -hmm. um, and you it form usually end of September, mm -hmm. beginning of October. 
So just to un to understand, to make people understand what it takes, you know, it's it's. I never had to deal with it. I never had to deal with it because uh, sometimes when you come back from an injury, you usually usually on the side working for two weeks with the, uh, the fitness coach before you come back in the team. And uh, for the first time in my life, I had to deal with uh, coming from holiday and from my vacation and and going straight into the team. Uh, and that's why I had a lot of like problem with my calf and groin and, and stuff like that. But um, as I said, you know, uh, I'd rather to be out there than wait because uh, I knew also that it wasn't possible mm -hmm. to have like three weeks on, on the side and prepare one month. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, that wouldn't have been possible. So you have to do what you have, what you have to do.